Like in this video, we are planning to see the JRC 901B and 701B egg disk. So it's already powered off. So for uh, restarting, you can have this button here from the reset button as well as power button. So I'm going to restart. So I'm restarting the egg disk. It's consisting of the motherboard, the number CMC1385. And this is one uh, power supply for the SRB and other connections. And we have a power supply for uh, uh, motherboard, a usual SMPS power supply. And the dongle will be inside the GRC dongle box for the chart and uh, unit. The egg is booting now. So meantime for the connecting the interface connection like gyro, GPS and the radar input for the TT as well as the radar overlay. Here we don't have a radar overlay. However, you can connect the external input from the target data from here. So for the gyro, step input and the lock pulse, the GPS and GPS2 and the AIS and the depth so we have for the inputs here available here so the actress is booting now so here are the two parts uh, we are going to see uh, basically one for the hard disk and one for the charts so exit navigation so i'm putting password four zeros and here you can be able to see the disk information so disk interface consists of three parts. So one is uh, system C and uh, master E and master D. The C drive consisting of the operating systems. And the uh, master D and master V are the chart backup. Usually the maker recommending so every year like 4,000 to 10,000 hours you can replace the artist. So the system C having the silicon drive. And master D and master E have the SATA HDD normal drive. Even you can recommend for the SSD drive also. So the hardware key information will get the for activating the chart. So you can have this user permit for the SES and the S63. So for configuration the like this we have a lot of menus here for the configuration software update so other menus are there for initial configuration we will go on to the configuration set and here you have in the configuration set so for uh, for initial setup so we have the serial IO board 1 so this is a serial IO board 1 so we have the one board uh, fitted interface with the unit so if you want to add, add the additional unit, so you have to add one more unit. So I have one unit, so I am just confirming the IP. So this is standard IP. So it's tied to communicating with the relay board for the processor. Yeah, it's communicating. So this one you can able to see the configuration set. So what are the interfaces connected and the check? So by the check mark you can identify the gyro input, the TT1, the radar1, the radar2, the GPS1, GP2, gyro, AS and the navtex. What are the mandatory is given? So whenever you have a broken connection with SRP, this is a SRP connection. So if you have the broken connection with the SRP, so if I am testing the configuration step. So you will get the error here, yes. So we are disconnected. So I am connecting back the SRB unit. So for the software upgrade and the sensor set you can see here. So what are the sensor, you, the new sensor as well as the existing one. So if you want to add the existing sensor, so you want to add the GPS3 so you can use it and where you are connecting the port, which port you are connecting, you can able to see the which port, the nav 1, the nav 2, 
edge port and the depth from the depth you can use the edge depth and edge port this is already pre configured the alarm related for the external function this will be a NONC contact so you can select that by the alarms with autopilot so position monitoring area safety counters you can because none of them it is activated so the upgrading the this is not for the software upgrade this was upgrading the uh, interface unit like a relay board and IF board and here we have the software upgrade so if you clicking here it will go into the normal menu and this will be for the disk information uh, the usual menu where we have seen the earliest for this C drive, D drive, D drive for the disk initiation so after putting the new disk so we will see in the next video or we are able to see in the same video for the disk initial so it is initializing the disk 1 successfully and this 2 initial successfully that means uh, both a uh, disk is available this for the software and data path so when you are uploading the software so you can use this menu so where you have to do the software So usually they are backupping the configuration you can use a backup as a restore so usually if you are doing any soft upgradation or the repair you can go here and click here and you can take the backup with the C drive itself or you can insert the pen drive and you can take the backup so now we are going to go see the explorer menu again G password 0 0 So here you can able to see the explorer menu. So basically the egg is running on the XP. So in the XC, XP menu uh, the embedded normal embedded menu. So for the explorer you can go into control all delete also you can able to see the explorer menu. So in my computer you can see the three drives one will be the system drive which consisting only the drc software and the embedder the d and e drive will be the backup drive for the this is the master drive containing of exist data and the e drive containing of exist data master and c so you can able to see here master both exist uh, both uh, drives available here and silicon drive will be the inside so for uh, changing the motherboard and changing the hard drive and uh, repairing so you have to copy these uh, three files uh, you can go into the C drive and JRC this and he home and you can see in the bin so you have to copy this kind of files uh, JRC activate and uh, user LAN and JRC MFT license key you just copy these three files before uh, updating or uh, before repairing the disk mm. your other thing uh, in next video uh, we are able to we are going to change the hard drive for the both ma hard disk uh, master and slave okay this uh, is having a two hard disk we are able to see the two hard disk disk 1 and the disk 2 
So you are not same time you can replace the master and the backup air disk same time or you can change the one by one the disk one and disk two. is having a master and backup hard disk so usually you can use up to 500 GB the maker is advising almost 320 GB for the green power so we are going to change the hard drive Okay, this one we replaced the two hard disks now. So I'm going to restart the video. So here you can see the shutdown and restart. Restarting now. The window is uh, starting now. So now you will get the egg disk uh, because license error because we are used to new uh, new hard drive. So if you are going to the, see the disk information, you will be able to see uh, one hard disk we are getting and the backup we are not getting. So even the SRV is also not connected. So in this you have to go to the manage and disk management. So here uh, is already detecting one hard disk and one is not hard disk. So you can click the new partition, primary partition, disk B, B. So if you want to format this one, you can do the format. But not required. You have to just uh, copy the license key. So in the D drive already, I think this hard disk took from the other uh, hard disk. We, after changing the hard drive, so you have to do the disk initialization. So you can see the disk information, see the backup will be failed here. So go into the uh, password, same password, the uh, four zeros. So you have the disk, uh, disk uh, initialization here. So the disk initialization, you can click card disk initialization. So disk one you have to install here successfully, okay. Disk to do to so we're checking the disk to drive D. Just uh, started copying the.
yeah this disk 2 is initialized completed so now you can check the disk information so 60p 223 298 and 2 so if we go into the planning so it started so showing uh, no ENC available so you have to load the charts and here you can see the uh, minimum information to check the service level <laughs> code input you can click uh, zero service man you can see the line monitor for connecting the for checking the gps gyro and Navtex. so clicking here and uh, start you can see the because we are not connected any interface here so individual you can able to test here so i'm closing the windows installation uh, ccrp settings you can able to see the ccrp settings the vessel CCRB settings and for the backup and restore if you have any backup from the old order you can take the backup or if you want to restore you can put it into the backup adjustments and uh, the radar initial setup nothing sir Okay, thank you all. So we are closing the sections for GRC 901B and 701B like this. Thank you all.